Hello everyone. Today we are demonstrating the ASTM D6641 combined loading compression fixture. So this fixture is used to compress composite sample specimens and uh, test for things like shear strength, compressive strength, modulus, and a few other parameters. So I'm going to show how to uh, use the use the fixture, how to set up a sample, and then how to load it in compression. So uh, we'll start with the fixture. See it has four pieces, four different quadrants. So these pieces on the side are tightened with screws. What that does is it compresses the sample this way. Uh, and then sample set in and we load it in compression and then sample is compressed this way and drawn to failure. So uh, first let's unscrew some of these uh, tightening screws on the side here. So it's important to tighten and loosen all the screws uniformly. This way you won't damage your fixture. Uh, this is similar to uh, the pattern that you would use for changing a car tire or something of that nature. All right. So I think we're loose enough here. So go in. Going to uh, open up the fixture. So we'll take the top off. You'll see there the bearings inside. So this actually rolls with very little friction. It's a high quality fixture. So now that I've loosened the screws, it can widen out. You'll see the uh, serrated inserts there to grab onto the sample. We'll start with the top, and usually this is a little bit easier to do when the fixture is lying down. Open up the bottom, and we have the top. So we'll insert the sample. It's important that the sample is parallel. And also that the sample is flush with the bottom of the fixture, the bottom and top of the fixture. All right, so we'll see it's flush there, uh, as well as on the top. Bring that down a little bit. There we go. All right, so now it's flush on the bottom and the top. We can start tightening the screws. Go ahead and tighten the screws using that same sort of alternating alternating pattern. Go ahead and make sure everything's tight here. So if I was doing this test for real, I would tighten it a little bit more, but we are all set. So that is the ASTM D6641 fixture with the sample loaded. So now the last thing we have to do is load it in our compression plates. So you see here, I have a spherically seated compression plate. So this wobbles a little bit to, uh, to count for any uh, mislinearities of the force so that the force is straight up and straight down. So go ahead and load the fixture onto the top here just like that and then of course the top compression plate loads up here. So we would load that into our machine and we would compress down. As we compress down the sample would shear right here. All right, so, uh, so that's the ASTM D6641 fixture explained. I know everyone was uh, interested to see this video. 
So I'm very happy to do it.